Hi, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to fix your tripod connector on your digital camera. Hello again, so I have a Fuji camera and this is a well no problem on Fuji cameras that the tripod connector over here was not made out of metal it was made out of plastic it was basically a thread over here that with time when I was trying to put my tripod in uh, and if you're trying to push it a little bit too hard this basically split this whole piece that was here so I was trying to fix it a uh, couple of different ways so first I was trying to use JB Weld uh, steel reinforced epoxy but unfortunately this did not hold and uh, first I was just trying to fill the hole with this epoxy and just uh, create uh, extra thread uh, it was not working so I found another uh, thing on YouTube and I want to share with you and uh, with my way I'm gonna fix it there is another product called uh, plastic bonder which supposedly is supposed to work a little bit better. Uh, JB Weld, uh, regular epoxy is just an epoxy, uh, but this product is supposed to uh, give you better contact between a metal, what I'm gonna do right here, and a plastic. And the plastic that is right here, it's not a regular plastic. I had to go and chip off all those pieces that was here and this piece really is not a hard plastic it's kind of soft plastic is more kind of like a rubberized piece so it was i had to use my dremel to uh take this part away as you can see right here in order for me to hopefully permanently fix this and i have something like this which is the uh small insert that is going to fit my uh tripod connector and i'm just gonna insert it here so before when i was trying to screw this in this was creating the, so much pressure that this was basically splitting this whole part and this part and the part inside is also like i said not a really hard plastic it's kind of uh more flexible something like you would have on a cars uh dashboard so now i'm going to use this two-part epoxy plastic bonder and then I'm going to fill it up, this gap right here, and I'm gonna try to permanently insert this metal insert so I have a really good and sturdy connector for my tripod. All the links to the product, if you need it later, you can find it on the bottom of my video. So I'm gonna try to mount it over here, fill it up, and I'm gonna fill it up a little bit higher than I'm gonna show you the final result. I'm not gonna bother you with watching how I do it. And also I just wanna mention that I took this part and roughened it up a little bit and made some notches. So then later when the uh, epoxy is gonna hold, it's gonna have something to grab on and also I roughen all these pieces. Okay, so let's get to work. So I'm gonna mix two parts of those for about a minute and then I'm gonna apply inside of the hole hoping that this is going to hold my tripod connector I hope you can see so I have just applied the epoxy and it's, I think looks pretty good so I'm gonna wait for this to harden and then we're gonna try it see if it's gonna hold it alrighty so now it's afternoon the next day and as you can see, my metal thread is inside and seems to be holding pretty good. And this is the screw that I use for testing. So as you can see, I'm moving it this way and this way, and it is not moving. So I can hold my camera like this and it's not moving, which is a good sign. The one thing that I noticed is that, 
So this is pretty good. So if you want to put some insert, metal insert inside of the camera, this is going to work. So one thing I just want to point out is that when I mix that plastic bonder, I did it in two stages. The first one, I filled up all the space around it. And then maybe like five, 10 minutes later, I mixed another part and I wanted to add a little bit of volume up like here. Now what happened is that I got some kind of a bubbles. So this part is actually kind of soft and I don't understand why. So I, as you can see right here, this doesn't look pretty because I got some kind of a soft areas. Now this is pretty strong now, but I got right here a couple of bubbles that I basically removed it and this peeled off. Now this part right here seems kind of hard right now. Now what I'm gonna try to do, this is pretty good, but I would like to build up a little bit, um, kind of flatter area between like here, here and here. So when I put my tripod and then there's usually that flat part of the, like a screw around that, uh, the thread, this is gonna be sitting a little bit more uh, better on the camera. So also here's an example of the difference between regular JB weld, there is just basically uh, epoxy, and the plastic bonder. So this is regular JB weld, and as you can see, if I'm trying to scrape this, this is super, super hard. Whereas this thing, which is plastic bonder, it's not 24 hours, but still, as you can see, this is kind of, I don't know, rubbery? I don't wanna say, or maybe I mixed it the wrong way, but I thought I mixed it one to one, but this seems to be still holding better between the metal and the uh, plastic that is kind of soft on this camera. Before, this area was not really holding well and to this kind of soft plastic. But right now I can feel, as you can see, that this is really, really not moving. And this is really nice and steady. But what I've decided to do is I'm going to use regular JB Weld, this port, to build up some kind of a little platform around it so I have more flat area around it with regular JB Weld because this seems like it's going to be a little bit more uh, firmer area and we'll see if it's going to stick to this area. Uh, and I'll give you an update uh, tomorrow. So then I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours and then I'm gonna send it down to have a better flat surface area for my tripod uh, screw. Alrighty, so it's been 48 hours since I applied the other uh, JB Weld onto my camera. And I'm gonna show you that it is holding very, very good. So now I can install my tripod right now. And this camera is pretty heavy, as you can see, it's pointing down and it's holding very well. And as you can see, my tripod mount is fixed. Now I can use my camera again on the tripods and in any other places where I needed to sit tight on my tripod. No more cracked uh, threads over here because now I have a metal one. Well, thanks guys for watching. If you have any comments, questions, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Other than that, thanks for watching guys again and goodbye. Thanks.